President Joe Biden marks the 911 anniversary in Alaska and supports the entire news cycle on Republicans. From his trip India and Vietnam, Biden, who went Washington, will attend a ceremony at a military base in Alaska, Anchorage on Monday and is expected make explanations more than 1,000 service members. Deputy Vice President Kamala Harris, New York, September 11. September 11 he attended the commemoration ceremony in Memorial Plaza. Right-wing media organizations chose to commemorate the worst terrorist attacks on American territory by encouraging fake anger against Biden's deprivation from the ceremony in New York. On Monday morning, Fox Friends published a map showing how far away Elmendorf Richardson's 911 accident areas in Alaska, emphasizing the railings against OPEDS's absence and Biden from people he invited the comments that scolded. He lost his loved ones. Fox Friends anchor Ainsley Earhart claimed that every president has been in one of these sites since September 11, and that Biden's Alaska trip was a Lara big break from tradition. Biden will be the first president to commemorate 911 attacks from the West Coast. While Earhart's claim is patented, Biden is not first president to celebrate anniversary 911 from scratch or one of other sites that have been attacked. He's gone. But official ground came out zero ceremony. Fox also reached presidential candidates to gain their views on the planning of the president. Republican candidate Nikki Haley said Biden believes believed he should participate in the ceremonies in New York. Pence Pence said Biden was exactly what did. For right-wing media, none of anger real. It is a way gain cheap political points and try to remain related points of Americans who are still looking for someone who's still mourning.